Welcome to West Coast Finest. Please subscribe and hit that bell so you do not miss any of our new videos. Yes, click the link below to visit our website and get your order in for our GNG hair growth butter. Yes, it is made with 100% all natural ingredients. And yes, it's me, your girl T, dropping another video. Today, my client has been experiencing some hair loss in the front and around her edges as you can see she thinks her hair loss is due to stress yes stress is one of the number one causes of hair loss after alopecia so we're not sure if this is a case of alopecia, but she does know that her hair started coming out after press. So I am going to be using my uh, G&G hair growth butter on her edges, and we are gonna monitor and track her hair growth. So yes, this is my G&G hair growth butter made with 100% all natural ingredients. Please get your order in now. You can order on my Facebook page. We are in the process of getting our website produced and it will be up very soon. So yes, our small jars are $10 and our large jars are 20 So I am starting her braid pattern here and as you can see i am braiding her edges down and then i'm going to braid the braid back i am not and i hardly ever will braid anyone's hair back who is already experiencing hair loss around the edges so what i do is my clients come in i assess their hair situation if they're having any kind of hair loss, hair damage, or thin hair. And then I decide, depending on the style that they're getting, what braid pattern is most healthy for their hair and that will work with the, with the hairstyle that they're getting. So as you can see right here, the arrow is pointing toward the braid that is going down on her edges. And again, that is to relieve as much on her edges as possible. So please, hairstylist, you have someone that comes in with this hair loss, with alopecia, with thin hair on their edges, braid those braids going down first instead of braiding them straight back. So again, this hair butter is amazing. Look how that hair butter just melts in the scalp. It has nothing but ingredients that promote hair growth. So, and please get your order in now. And if you're interested in the style that I create, this beautiful style. hair butter will help hair areas. So I'm massaging the hair growth butter into her hair. 
and these head massages and scalp massages are very important to stimulate your hair follicles. So ladies and men, if you are experiencing any hair loss, please do these hair and scalp massages very often, even with these protective styles. Just take your hands and in a circular motion, massage your hair, massage your scalp, and that will help stimulate those hair follicles. We can start getting these hair shafts moisturized and massaged for hair growth. So here, her hair braid pattern is complete. And we are going to start with her uh, adding some hair net before we get to her closure. And again, I love, love using my stretchy hair net. I don't use the hair nets that don't stretch anymore. The stretchy net is much more easier to work with. It's much more comfortable for my clients and it does not have any itch. The nets are already soaked either with olive vera or an olive oil or some of them have argan oil and olive oil but both have really good hair oils already soaked into the net and that is also good for the hair and for the scalp. So again, watch this process of how I sew my nets on and then I will move on to her closure part. So I sew down the net and then here I applied an elastic band to her 4x4 closure. As you can see earlier, I did not cut off the lace in the front of the closure. I found that just folding it down saves the closure and gives it more life. It doesn't shed as much and it doesn't bald in the front. So those who use closures a lot, you know that sometimes they bald and shed in the front. So here I am installing the elastic Band closure on her head and I love love this method if you've watched my previous videos you will see that I always use an elastic band on my closures on my frontals and my wigs because this elastic band helps this closure lay nice and flat it's snug once I sew it down there's no wrinkles there's no lumps or anything and it makes it nice and comfortable for my clients. They don't have to worry about their closure, their frontal moving, shifting, sliding, or anything. So I love this method. If you haven't used it, ladies, please try it. This closure will fit nice and snug and lay nice and flat. And that's what we want. So again, here you will see me adjusting her closure. She wants her part more on the side. So once it's adjusted, I'm going to start sewing it down. 
And if you're interested on how the rest of this style is completed, please continue to watch. And thank you all so much for all your love and your support. I truly appreciate each and every one of my subscribers. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Hit that save button. Subscribe and share this video. Thank you.
family, yes, this style is completed. Look at this. It is simply beautiful. Yes, it came out amazingly beautiful. Once again, I have outdone myself. Look at this beautiful wave pattern. It's a complete full sew-in weave. You can never know that she had any hair loss. So thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. If you found it interesting, if you learned anything or found any of the information good, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please ask questions and comments because I love comments. I love to answer any questions that you may have. And again, this is Tease Braids and Weaves. Much love. Until next time. If you want more details about my business, please visit my Facebook page at Tease, Braids, and Weaves.